Hi guys, so sorry I haven't been posting in a week. I've been super slacking with posting because I've been work at work a lot and I've just been busy with work, let's just put it that way. Um, and since now I don't have to talk fast, I was going to go do some things, but I'm kind of glad because I need to relax. <laughs> I've just been so busy this week with work. Um... Anyway, so I have my peppermint mocha right here. So cute. And um, I'm super excited because this is no my November wrap up. Woo! -hoo! Yeah. I usually try to read for more than two books, but today, this month, I only read two books. Um, I'm in the middle of another book that I will show you at the end. So yeah so the first book i read was a life too bright by samuel miller and oh my goodness it was so good um speaking of books i don't know how many i have so i need to count my books i will get back to you on that one soon enough anyway so this is a life too bright by samuel miller and i love this um Plus, it's about adventure, it's about finding, um, so this guy is named Arthur Lewis Plumen, and his father, his grandfather was also that name, and his father was also that name, so he's the third, um, his grandfather passed away from, I don't know why, how, but he, like, literally, like, went on a trip and then didn't come home. Long story short, Arthur, his grandson, decides to run away from home um, one day, and he decides to take a train, that's why this train is here, um, to find a place where his grandfather has been and try to figure out why he disappeared and why he didn't return home from that. Um, and so... Yeah, so it's really interesting, and I really enjoyed it. Um, he, um, yeah, so I think it was a great book, and if he has a sequel at some point, I would love to read that. So, they, they also, like, these papers, looks like a journal, and I love it, because he also finds his grandfather's journal, and that's how it works, um, because his grandfather wrote a book about it, and... Yeah, I can't really tell you much more about stuff, so I'm kind of already blowing it. So, anyway, so yeah, that was this book, this book, and I really loved it, and I would read it again, maybe in, in the future, but right now, this one is really good so far. Okay, so the next one, so they don't have to talk too fast because I was going to go somewhere, but I wanted to be there for a little bit, was Strange Dreamer by Lanny Taylor. I'm reading the sequel right now, Muse and Nightmares. Ah, <laughs> I just hit myself. That's why he's so big, as you can tell. Next to him, they're both big. And, like, big and they're crazy. As you can tell, it's also been loved. But, um, this one's also hardcover. So, apparently there's two hard, there's a hardcover and a softcover for this one. I have the softcover. So, anyway, I'm going to put this down. So I'll be in the next, my next video, which I will be in there in a minute. So this is about a guy named Leslo and a girl named Sarai. And I didn't know her name was Sarai until I read the audiobook for part of this. So I'm reading the audiobook with this, but that's another thing. So I didn't know that until then. He, um... He is strange, so his last name is Strange, and he doesn't know what his dream is, and every time it happens, Sarai's in his dreams and tries to figure out what she wants to do, either be a music nightmare or a dreamer, so who knows. Apparently, um, Lee, Leslo and Sarai fall in love um, somehow in this book, and um, they're trying to stay up falling in love, but who knows? Um, I'm only going to tell you a little bit of that because it's, like, really good. And it's, like, a fantasy book because it's, like, 
and creepy and real it's only creepy because it's a city of weep and he tries to like figure out like where it is, what it is about and everything so and um maya is also minia is also there's ghosts in here too so it's like kind of creepy so it's kind of good for the fall pretty much but um sorry i'm trying to cover up the light here so it's kind of pretty much close to the fall and yeah so but i'm reading it in the winter so it's kind of interesting i actually really enjoy it enjoyed it so yeah so this is the my wrap up for 20 november of 2018 oh my goodness i cannot believe that we have one more month guys and so far and the reason why i haven't done a haul for you is because i did a last haul but my last haul i did one too and yeah so so that was my wrap up of um november of 2018 and yeah, so comment below if you guys read any books during November. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Love you all. Bye.